Hello, my name is Anthony Agostino. I'm the chef and owner at Agostino Italian Specialties in Spring Lake, New Jersey. And today, we're going to be making homemade fresh mozzarella cheese made from start to finish. Uh, there are many different varieties and a way you could produce this product once it's been made. And this is just one of the many ways to finalize the product. This is a homemade fresh mozzarella with Jersey fresh tomatoes topped with fresh green basil homemade pesto sauce. And again, uh, there are many things you could do with this cheese. So let's get started and I'll take you through the steps on making fresh mozzarella from scratch. So today we're making homemade fresh mozzarella cheese. And uh, what's amazing about this cheese is that this is the curd that comes out of the cow's milk. When the cow releases the milk, it's made up of the curd and the whey. And the whey floats to the bottom and the curd floats to the top. And what they do is they take cheesecloth and they take this curd and skim it right off the top and then cryovac it in about 40 or 50 pound blocks. And then we get it sent to us from that point. So what we do then is cut the curd uh, through this guitar so it cuts nice and evenly. And at that point, it's sitting right now in just lukewarm water. And what we'll eventually do is incorporate hot water a little at a time so this way it doesn't scorch the cheese and burn the outside and the curd in the middle stays raw and uncooked. So in order to do that you temper the water a little at a time. So right now the water is about 80-90 degrees then we're going to introduce water at about 120 to 150 and then eventually we're going to throw in boiling water which is 212 to finally cook it off. And uh, that's the steps here. You want to try to go as easy as possible without breaking it up in, in little clumps. You want to try to keep those slices cut as even as possible when you're cutting on the guitar. I'm going to take some of this water out. Now this water is about 120 to 150. It's hot. It's just not boiling yet. This water here is boiling. This is 212. It's very hot. I'm going to add some of this in. Get in there with the paddle. And then right away, you start picking it up a little at a time. Nice and easy. The curd starts to cook a little bit. Now as soon as it starts to get a little bit of that shiny coat, you know you're really getting the cheese to cook. And what happens is if you've ever had fresh mozzarella where it's a little too chewy on the inside sometimes, what's happened is the curd is not fully cooked. And that's happened to you know me plenty of times. I've gone someplace and tried mozzarella and it looks good on the outside and then when you cut into it. It's real hot and rubbery on the inside. So now, as you, as you can see now, it's starting to really cook nice and come together. It's just about done. The reason why I lift and just run my hand through is just to feel 
to see on the inside if there's any clumps. Make sure all that curd is all cooked. You don't want it to be tough in there. This final run through is just the last check to make sure we got it all and that the curd is all cooked. And at this point, once it's all cooked as it is, we start making balls, nice and even. And there's one fresh mozzarella ball. And then what we have here is a homemade salt water brine and that gives the mozzarella its flavor. So we let it soak in there, roughly uh, 12 to 15 minutes. And the hot cheese, uh, because it's very hot, the pores are open right now, it absorbs in that salt water. And not only does it flavor the cheese, but it also acts as a preservative because uh, mozzarella is the best. If you buy it the day it's made, it's the best kept out on the counter for 24 to 48 hours without refrigeration. Because once you refrigerate the cheese, it tightens up and it firms up, and then ultimately you lose the nice flavor that you had when it was first made. But you can maintain the freshness by leaving it out like that. And with this, once it's at this stage, you can do many different things. You can make the big one pound balls like I'm making now. You can make little guys like that, which they call uh, chill and genie. And then also something that I do here at the store. Uh, I take a little piece like that and I make you know nice little knots like that. It's a delicious uh, chill and genie salad when they're little mozzarella knots with some olive oil, garlic, parsley, basil, delicious for the summer. Some nice uh, fresh Jersey tomatoes. Okay, so this, at this point, it's already uh, soaked about uh, 10 to 12 minutes. You can go sometimes a little less, a little more. And what we do is we take the plastic wrap, we go three times around, and then create a lip here, just like that. And then you come over and seal it right here. And this way, what that does, it prevents the hot cheese from leaching out the liquid because you don't want it to get all watery and milky. Just shake it off a little of the excess liquid, lay it right there. And you go once, twice, third time, rip. Get that crease right in the middle there, squeeze tight, the plastic nice and tight, spin it around, and then lay these two pieces of excess plastic under the lip. Tighten it up, flap it over, and there you go with the nice tight wrapped fresh mozzarella. Leak proof. And also what's good about this wrap is if you did want to uh, keep it in the plastic for a few hours, it will take its shape. If you don't wrap these up and you were to put these in a plate, what happens is they become they flatten out right away just like a pancake would because they're so hot. And that's it. We have a batch of mozzarella made from start to finish. And that's the fresh mozzarella cheese.